Let's understand how we can get help. You might have already seen how to get help earlier. However, I wanted to reiterate so that we are really comfortable with respect to the help. We can get help either in Python CLI or Jupyter Notebook. Help can be launched by calling help with circle brackets like this. It will launch CLI and we can enter a class name or function name and we should be able to get the help of a class or a function. We can hit Ctrl+C c to come out of help. We can also get help on a class or function by passing them to help function interactively. We will see those details with respect to tasks very soon. You will understand how this can be taken care of by seeing some examples. Also, we'll be able to get help by passing objects as well in most of the cases. Except for str, in most of the cases, we don't need to pass the class. Once we create the object, we should be able to get help using the object. With respect to str, probably as uh, it's kind of a special uh, class where we can have strings, probably there might be restriction. Other than str, I am able to get help with almost all the other classes by passing the objects of those classes instead of classes themselves. Here are some of the tasks we can perform to understand help better. In this case, I will be using the terminal. I will be using Python 3. We can say help and we can get into the help. To get into the help, we have to use circular brackets like this. Then it will launch the help CLI. Now we can get the help by just saying str. You can see the help related to str. If you want to get the help on one fun function, for example, else strip, you should be able to get help on one function like this. Colon Q to exit whether it is str or str.lstrip, which means whether it is class or function, you just have to say colon Q to come out of it. Now to exit from help, either you can hit Ctrl C or without typing anything, you can just hit enter. It will come out of the help automatically for us. You can also use Ctrl C to come out of it. Also, we can get help on str and str.lstrip directly or interactively. For that, we just have to say help of str like this. This is how I typically get the help. I don't get into the help CLI to get the help. You can see the documentation with respect to str. We can come out of it. You can also say help on str.lstrip. This also will work. It will give only the details with respect to the function. Now, let's create an object i equal to 0. i is of type int. Either you can say help of int to get help on int or you can say help of i. However, if you say s equal to hello and if you try to get help using s or s dot l strip, s dot l strip worked but with respect to help on the string, yes, it didn't work. This is the restriction only with the str I guess. For almost all the other classes, either you can pass the class name or the object name. With respect to string, to get the help at the class level, you have to pass str only. You cannot pass the object. However, with respect to the functions within str, you can create a string object and you can pass the function using that string object and it works. Now, with respect to Jupyter, if you want to get the help, you just have to say help like this and you should be able to get the help. Also, when it comes to Jupyter, there is a, a special syntax. Let me actually use it here. Instead of saying help like this, what you can do is you can just say str.lstrip question mark. It will provide us the help of that function and also the help will be a bit more readable than using conventional help. So make sure that in Jupyter, this is how we can get the help. On top of this, you can also leverage this approach and this is more crisp and readable compared to this one. Depending upon your preference, if you are using Jupyter environment, you can use either of the approach. I use either of them randomly. There is no certain pattern which I follow.